Hey guys, beautiful day outside today. I'm uh, just about to head out to uh, surprise my uh, local group uh, with a Mewtwo raid because I didn't really tell anyone that I actually received a raid pass for that. So uh, after that we'll be talking about all the stuff that has been happening in the game and yeah it's a lot so it's probably gonna be a, a talk episode and uh, I hope you're ready for the community day Saturday because that is also coming up anyway we'll talk about that more later for now let's head out Found me out. Let's go ahead and join them. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> All right, Mewtwo popping now. Here it is, Mewtwo. Forty-five minutes rating time. It's time to go and join my fellow group in taking down another Mewtwo. All right, instinct group over here. Yes! Kees, at the other side. Kees! Good luck! Good luck to you too! There we go, Pidgey Pidgey Pikachu. Four Team Instinct. Alright. Gonna pick a, a good spot to stand now with the sun. And then we're going starting to fight. And catch Mewtwo. So. Let's pick a good spot. Alright guys. 20 seconds and counting. So, for my team, going with Gengar, Sharpedo, Houndoom, Scizor, Gyarados and Metaranitar. Uh, this is a group for people that don't have a 6 party Terranitar because some people don't. I mean, Tyranitar are still a pretty big deal. You can still catch it at level 4 raids, but yeah, some people don't got it. Alright, that's time. Let's start the fight. Let's go. Alright, our Mewtwo today has Psycho Cut as his first move because my Gengar is not getting a lot of damage and Focus Blast. So if I actually picked Tyranitars this time, Focus Blast would have destroyed them pretty much immediately. So today I made a good choice of actually picking up a good counter team. There we go, of course. The glitch, the dodge glitch. Torpedo going in, dodging those Focus Blasts. Still taking a lot of damage because Torpedo is actually a glass cannon dark attacker. 
pretty good, pretty big group over here. Trying not to get in the way, but yeah, it's an open area, so it's really hard to uh, dodge that. Hound him again, and there's Scissor. Most people forget about Scissor because it's a bug type attacker, but actually it does pretty good damage. The problem with Scissor is it's also a glass cannon and it dies pretty quick. And again, the dodge glitch. <sighs> you should be used to it by now. Focus Blast again, and Scissor is gone. And here comes a good attacker with Bite, Gyarados. Don't forget about the Gyarados, people. Normally, I would have given my Gyarados Bite and Crunch for the big DPS, for the big damage. But this time, my Gyarados, my main Gyarados, has Hydro Pump. And Hydro Jump is also a pretty good attack. Alright, Mewtwo's down with 160 seconds left. Great job. Then go on the Raspberries, Fast TM, Hyper Potion, and Revive. Rare Candies. We got it down. 12 balls. Alright, bonus challenge. Here we go. 2020 zero 5. Still, I see people that are having a difficulty catching Mewtwo. So I'm go I'm just going to explain it really slow. So first off, you hold the ball and set up a circle. That circle could uh, should not be really small, but if you just want to be safe, go for the great throw. Then of course. Use your preferred throwing ball of your preferred throwing technique with curve, but wait until Mewtwo attacks and throw the ball while its attack animation is busy. Like that. So you see Mewtwo attacking, and right after its hand comes here, you should then throw your ball. And for some reason, this was my my easiest Mewtwo ever, because only a great ball and a great throw, and I already got it, one ball! Unbelievable. Let's uh, look around. Guys are probably busy catching it. And? Already uh, ready? There we go! 91! Nice! Congratulations, Mike! Thanks! <laughs> Level up! What? Alright, nice! 31! <laughs> nice! Congrats! Thanks! Guys, you still busy with fighting? You got it already? Two, 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 four. Two, 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 four. All right. Hey, congrats, yes. man. Yes. Do you got it? Yes, I got it. What uh, is the is it attacker? It's uh, not really a attacker, actually. It's actually lower. Twenty twenty no uh, zero five. What it's is, my, what is my, uh, hundred? Uh, twenty twenty something in the eighties or even nineties, oh, sure. perhaps. So this is actually uh, you know the lowest. A rather low one. <laughs> Well, still, still free Mewtwo, you know. Yes, it's a, it's a Mewtwo. I'm actually uh, pretty Hello. curious about someone that might even had a hundred percent Mewtwo, but she isn't here today. So if I meet her, I'll probably put her on camera to show it to you because a hundred percent Mewtwo, weather boosted, is a pretty big deal. But for now, and uh, we'll talk more. And we're back. Oh, it's quite uh, yeah, good weather outside, but still a bit chilly. So I'm just gonna record this inside. I have to keep notes for this because it was a lot of news. And uh, yeah, let's just talk about it generally for now. All right, uh, in the latest updates, 
uh, we can finally uh, use the search bar in our Pokemon storage and search for shinies. So uh, really handy if you've just been out all day, maybe even using your Go Plus to put the Pokemon sorting on recent and search for shiny. So you can see that if you, ca if you caught a new shiny that day. After that, uh, a new system was found by the Silk Road in data mining uh, with place uh, holders for questing. Questing itself uh, is rather a, an interesting topic uh, to talk about, but we'll do that another time. Uh, don't forget about some generally uh, performance bug fixes. Some weeks ago, uh, most of you and other players around the world received raid passes, AX raid passes, so mutual invites, uh, for places that you've probably just been one time uh, or eight months ago in another country, well, on vacation perhaps, uh, and you received the, received the pass for that. Uh, that actually was a bug, a bug uh, with Niantic, they announced it themselves. And they're still uh, busy improving the AX Raid battle invitation. So I had to uh, talk about it uh, much sooner, but one of the coolest Pokemon is finally here with the new Gen 3 Wave Pokemon, that being Rayquaza, of course. Rayquaza being our new Dragon type, maybe even dethrone Dragonite itself, but we might have to wait for more info on that. For now, the new Pokemon in this Gen 3 Wave launch are Taylo, Swello, Tropius, Swablu, Altria, Bagon, Shelgon, Salamence, Beldum, Metong, Metacross, Metacross, uh, Chimeko, Circuit, Masquerade, Wingle, Pelipper, Castform, Fallbeat, Illumise, and Rayquaza. So some details about these new Pokemon that just arrived. Uh, Metacross now is one of the strongest CP Pokemon in the game, being a, a strong Psychic Steel type. Uh, and one of my buddies actually already leveled it up to level 40. Uh, after that, we've got a new Dragonite uh, counter, that being Salamence. So Salamence is the, is the final evolution from Bagon. And the, the big difference between Dragonite and Salamence is that Salamence, on normal conditions, so anytime, is being able to have Draco Meteor, an exclusive move. Uh, we'll talk more about that with the Community Day upcoming uh, in, in a sec. But for now, normally, on the normal conditions, if you evolve uh, your Salamence, it might have Draco Meteor. And Draco Meteor is a full charge move. So there's still debate going if uh, Outrage from Dragonite and Salamence versus Draco Meteor, which one is actually better. Uh, but there's a lot of info around on the web and I'll wait for my judgment on that. Uh, after that, Chimiko, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Chimiko awards you extra Stardust if you, uh, if you catch it in the wild. But uh, I've heard that it's really rare, so I, you might have more luck getting it from X. And it comes from the 10. Last but not least, Cast Form. Cast Form is a Pokemon that actually changes its form depending on the weather. So for every weather, you got, uh, you got a different Cast Form. One, two, three, four. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, new raids are, of course, Rayquaza, Ferreligator, Jinx, Azumarill, Azumarill. Piloswine, Dugon, Swablu and Snorrent. And I see that there might be a trend going on with Niantic for actually uh, prepping people to take down the biggest of them all, this time 
Rayquaza by giving you smaller raids to do and actually giving you in this in this case ice type Pokemon to counter Rayquaza and that actually brings us to Rayquaza right away Rayquaza new dragon raid boss finally a cool legendary again so some really fast counters for Rayquaza uh, are going to be rock Pokemon so pull out those golems that you've been leveling up for a few for Raikou and Zapdos because once again they're in the game with Rockthro and Stone Edge. Ice Pokemon like your legendary bird for Mystic players Articuno with uh, Frost Breath and Ice Beam and of course you can also use Blizzard and Pillow Swine and Lapras with the same moveset preferably. Don't forget about other Dragon type Pokemon, of course, being Dragonite and the new Pokemon Salamence, which we talked about before. Uh, these two Pokemon should of course have Dragon Tail and Outrage or Draco Meteor and if you're lucky to have it, of course, Dragon Breath and Dragon Claw is going to do great. And please, don't forget about Fairy types. We don't actually got a lot of fairy types that are useful against these kind of raids, but there's one, Gardevoir. Gardevoir uh, doesn't really have a first quick move a fairy type, but it does have Dazzling Gleam as its charge move. And it's actually pretty tanky. So don't forget about Gardevoir. Alright, you still with me? A lot of information in this one because I need to catch up. So uh, there has been uh, a few events going on, going over them really quickly again. Those events were the Gen 3 Wave event that brought us Shiny Swablu. After that, Valentine that brought us Shiny Love Disc. Didn't get either of those. And of course, don't forget about the Lunar event that brought us Shiny Puchena. I actually didn't cut any of them, so congratulations to everyone that uh, was fortunate enough to catch those. And let's not forget about tomorrow. Tomorrow being Saturday 25 February, the upcoming Community Day event. Uh, during the event, you'll be able to perhaps catch Shiny Dratini. It's not really out there yet, but uh, Niantic should be able to just Put it out in a matter of minutes on the server side. You'll be also uh, able to activate lures during the event that will three hours and for every Pokemon caught during the community day uh, time, note that uh, the community day does only take three hours, uh, the Pokemon that you will be uh, catching are able to give you three times the Stardust that you will normally be receiving. And of course, let's not forget about the Pokemon that will be appearing most of the time, hopefully, being Dratini. And during the event, if you are able to evolve a Dragonite to a Dragonite, you should do it. Because only during these three hours, your Dragonite will automatically have its new charge move being Draco Meteor. And Draco Meteor, like before, is only normally applied to new Salamence Pokemon. So this is your chance to get a legacy moveset for only the community day. And keep in mind that you'll be not able to use your charge move on an existing Dragonite in your roster to uh, try to get Draco Meteor. Uh, Niantic already announced that only during the event times Evolve Dragonairs to Dragonites are going to get this new move. So, a lot of information this video. Uh, I hope you got all that because I had to go over it pretty fast. But for now, I hope you are excited as I am for the Community Day event tomorrow. Uh, if you want to know your local times for the community day, uh, you should probably check on Facebook 
or on the Pokemon Go Live website itself. I'll be visiting a new place with my local raid group. Uh, we haven't really decided on which place is going to be next, but uh, we've actually created the straw poll for that. So uh, momentarily I'm going to look at the results and we're gonna go from there. So I hope you're ready for the community day event. Hope you got a lot of Pokeballs because you're going to need it. Don't forget about a big power bank. Three hours might be a short time for you, but your phone needs power to survive. And hey, is that the credits on? Well, this is Fate Watcher signing out. Hey, see ya! Yes! Hey.